Hello and welcome. This is Chichi Barnabas. You are welcome to my channel. This is a channel that focuses on teaching you everything you need to know, the tools and the tricks to become a successful self-published author. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you how you can make an ebook cover in Canva super fast. If you go through the skills and the trainings I'm going to tell you right now, you will be able to create your ebook cover very fast even if you've never had an experience of using canva before if you are new to my channel thank you very much for joining my channel please do well to like this video to share it to subscribe to my channel and for all my returning subscribers thank you very much for always having you around and if you watch this video to the end i have a very special gift for you that can help you to 10x your speed creating not just ebook covers but other designs on canva but you can only have access to that if you watch this video to the end and by the end of the video i will show you that so without wasting time we will dive right into canva right now and i will show you how you can create an ebook cover very fast right now i've just logged into my canva account of course if you're a regular canva user you know you could just go over to the top right here and just click on create a design and here you can begin to customize your design and create a kind of design you want either an ebook or a facebook post or a youtube banner or whatever it is that you want but now but since i'm teaching you a tactic that can help you to create your ebook super fast especially if this is your first time or you don't have any experience creating ebooks in canva then we are instead going to search and pick a template and then from there we can go ahead and customize the template in order to create our own ebook so i will just type in there of course you can see you see that under the templates there you see that ebook has already preloaded for us if it was not preloaded like this you could just go in and type ebook so we'll just type on ebook and then canva is going to populate for us a whole and uh, lots of ebooks that we can use for our project now if you go through it you will see that we have various ebooks here that you can pick and begin to customize of course this is what most people teach on other youtube channels that you just come here pick any template of your choice and then you go ahead and customize but i'm going to be taking it a little bit further than that so instead of just picking one template here and then focusing on it in order to customize for your book here's what i advise you to do you go through all the templates and then pick various different elements from the templates perhaps you have seen let's say for this template right here we have seen that the text that is used or the font that i use at google can go ahead and pick that and we can also pick let's say we like this photo or we like other things so what to do is instead of just picking one template and then focusing on trying to fit in all your design into that it is best that you select a variety of templates and then you pick different elements from there that are revolving around the graphics that are used on it the text that is used on it the colors that are used and then probably also the use of space for our ebook design, we're going to be creating a self-help book titled Self-Publishing Secrets Unlocked. So that is going to be the title of that is going to be going onto our book cover. And of course, the book is around self-publishing. Now, here are four things that you need to have in mind whenever you want to create a cover. First is you look at what graphics are going on to it. Look out for the graphics. Let the graphics correspond with the title or the subtitle of your book is around and then look also for the second thing which is text look at text that will also fall in line with the message of your ebook title and then you should also look at the color what kind of colors are, are you going to use that will portray that and then lastly you will look at the use of space so these four things are going to be our guiding criteria we're going to be picking our graphics we're going to be picking our text we're going to be picking our colors the color scheme we use for it and then we are also going to be managing our space properly in order to create our ebooks so since our book is about publishing we are going to be picking on a template that is looking 
a little bit more interesting. So this looks like something around business is not too bad. And then we can do that. Of course, you can even go back here and check ebook and put publishing. If we can find more streamlined ebooks over there, so we could do that. Of course, you can see that they have brought us designs that are around more of publishing. So we are going to be picking one of them here of a choice, and then we will go ahead and begin to customize it to suit our needs. Of course, I like the fonts on this, so I'm going to press on that, and then we can begin to customize it. So awesome, now our book has opened in Canva. So this is where we can begin to customize. And like I advised earlier, what you need to do is not just to focus on this page alone and then begin to customize it. You also can go over to the left-hand side there and look at other templates that are carrying some kind of color, some kind of text, or some kind of graphics that will be helpful for your design so that you are not just using one. So you can add more pages here. And then we'll glance through here and see other templates and what we can pick from there and use for our own book. Of course, I like this text over here also. So I'm going to click that over and then just look out for other things that we can see. Okay, I like this little text here. So I'm going to pick that also so that we can see like the notebook. And let's just look for some graphics. So maybe we could go here and say publishing and see if we can find something there. We can get us something. Especially now, we're just trying to look at, see if we can find good graphics that can help us. Okay, let's pick this too. And present, let's take that back and then pick this too. So now you can see that we have picked four different um, preloaded covers here that we are going to be customizing for our book publishing. So let's now create a new page so we can begin to customize. Bring it to the top and let's expand it a bit. All right, so now we are going to begin our customization. Okay, this looks not so good. I can clone that down there. And then let's try another text over there and see. Of course, you can see that this text is beginning to come up like something that we are going to like. And then we also have, you can pick this text right here and then use that for 
a subtitle all right so this text seems to be okay for now and then we are going to be looking for graphics that we we'll add let's see can see that we picked some other graphics from there and then we are customizing them Of course, you can see it's not well balanced yet. Okay, so this is better and it is coming up. So we can push this to the top by just hitting on that button. And it's going to be number one. So we can. We can duplicate this and then see other stuff that we can do with it. Just take that off and look at the padlock and see. You can see that's an element there. Unlocking elements. As you can see right there, we can use that. We could also choose to bring this on there. And most times it's good to do a mixture of two. Fonts. As you can see, that's coming up. So now you can see that our user space, we have enough space there, and the letters are also standing out clearly. Of course, you can see that it is coming up. So you can see I have various um, designs there. 
so I can pick from any of them. I think I'm liking this. And that is how you can customize a template that suits your needs. So you can see that this one is quite minimalist. Not with so many designs on it. Decided to keep it very simple. And it's right there. So with this, that is how you can customize your design. And then make sure that everything is in the center so that's okay see this one is also not very bad and you can go ahead and include the auto name and do all other customization the way you want and once you are done doing that you will just come over here and then you will click on download and here you have the option to download that either as pdf you can open the drop down menu and you have either to download it as jpeg png and all of this so once you choose that you can do that let's go for png for this one and then we're downloading the first one so we just select here and pick just the first one and hit done and then hit download and boom that is how you are able to customize your cover and you can use that for any people that you desire to do so but now here's my special gift to you in order for you to be effective finding or coming across very good keywords or graphics that you can use on your covers or any other design then you need canva keywords and i put together a list of over 200 canva keywords that you can use in order to search and find elements or graphics that you can use on your design either for your books or for your facebook posts or for your youtube uh, thumbnails and all of that so i have done that so that is my gift to you and i'm going to leave the link to that in the description below make sure you follow that link so you can have this gift for yourself thank you very much for staying with me to the end of this video if you have not subscribed to my channel please do where to subscribe and if you have not shared this video what are you waiting for go ahead and share this video and i'll be bringing up more content like this that will help you in your publishing journey thank you very much and until then see you in our next video bye bye for now